All right, guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, a couple things on the truck with four scans, some things that are a little different. Okay, so we're working on three things today rear climate control, rear view camera images, and definitely finding some new hidden gauges. Okay, so this is what the climate control menu looks like right now. If you go into the menu, you can see you can control the air conditioner full and the seats and the steering wheel. Uh, this is on sync two. No other options are on here for anything for the back control. So we're going to see if we can add anything for the back. All right, so we're using our trusty OBD Link EX. Plugging it in. And the USB at the back. And the light's green now. And just flip the truck on. And open up for scan. Okay, we're going into four scan. Okay. We're gonna go down here to connect. Yes. And ready. Okay, we're gonna go into configurations. And we're going into the APIM. Now we hit run. Read the warning signs. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go into the 710101. And this last set of numbers, we're going to switch the second digit here to an E. And we're going to hit right. Go ahead and cycle the truck off. Wait a few seconds and then turn it back on. And then we're going to hit OK over here. So scene's going to restart. Okay, so it's almost there. It's loading. All right, so let's see if it works. I'm going to here. And now you see we have a rear button. So that's the rear. Okay, so it looks like this is specifically for climate control. I was hoping that it was for these here to turn these on or off and control them from the actual front. So that's pretty neat. So I guess that works mostly with maybe an, ex uh, an expedition or a bigger vehicle that has that really big back area where it has a separate AC unit. So I'm going to take that off. I don't need that. All right, we're gonna mess with the camera now. So let's see if we can change this. So whenever you put the 360 camera on, you can see this is a car on this side and this, can't, it's kind of hard to say, but it looks like a car also, but the picture here is a truck. We're gonna mess with it and see if we can change that itself to something else. Okay, so we're gonna go into the APIM also. So it's the 700201 and it's these last two digits here. And this is what they are. So just for kicks, we're gonna see if we can change it to a two. We're gonna hit right. Yes. All right, so now let's click on the camera again. And it's still. It 
it's still a truck. Nothing changed there. Two. Let's make it a uh, four. and check it again and it's still the same thing still just a truck so i don't know maybe with sync 2 it doesn't work maybe with sync 3 it might work a little better it i thought it'd just be a, i thought it'd be a pretty cool feature to see what it looked like right when i switch everything back to how it was i don't want to keep anything different that doesn't that isn't supposed to be the way it is all right now let's try to enable some hidden options from the ipc all right, we're going to go into the IPC now. We're going to hit run. Read the warnings. All right. So because we're making some changes that we really don't know too much about, I'm going to go ahead and save all. And I'm going to make this the IPC. January 21. Alright, so that saved all these values here. The reason it's good to save these is because sometimes when you change one, it changes another value also. Check out the spreadsheet for more details on this too. Alright, so this second digit here, we're going to make that an F. And we're going to write. Mm -hmm. Hit OK. And everything's gonna turn off here and turn back on. Now it's telling us to turn the truck off and back on, so we're gonna do that also. Turn off and turn back on. All right. Let's see if we have any new features in here. Boom, look, now we have average speed. That we already had. All right, cool, so we added an average speed. All right, guys, so we added the average speed, and there it goes. So it's giving you an average still. Uh, it took it a second to actually start because the head of, for a while, the truck was just stopped, so it wasn't averaging out to anything. But let's reset it now. Well, probably the wrong time to reset it because we just stopped again. Reset. All right, so it's reset. So now it's saying 25, which is exactly the speed I'm going right now. Four. Now while the truck is on, it's probably going to keep going down, down, down. So I don't know why they don't put the feature already in here. I mean, there's a bunch of other features as far as trip and fuel and average speed. There's a uh, fuel economy that was already on here also as an average. There's compass. There's a bunch of features that are already on here. It's kind of odd why they choose some and not others on different vehicles but it's there it's available you can just flip it on and it doesn't affect anything it's not like it's taking up extra space it's already there but pretty neat and then it's amazing that it's three digits if you can keep an average speed of three digits that's pretty interesting that's pretty amazing i mean you must be on a track or something right Okay, so check this out. We also added a towing gauge. So F added this too. Gives you a few different options on here. Slope, which vehicle, and brake gain. Pretty cool.
All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and please subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe and check out some of these other videos I got too.